One of the things that my travelers tell me in my first Walt Disney World call is they want to book the character dining experience. That's because they don't know there's over, over a dozen character experiences at Walt Disney World. And so in this video, I'm going to be sharing five places where you can eat a meal with Mickey Mouse. Showcase suggestions. Where I share travel tips and lists of five help make traveling with kids a little easier. I'm a travel advisor and I specialize in Disney destinations and frequently my care, my travelers tell me that they would like to book the character breakfast. They think there's only one, they think it's only with Mickey Mouse. That is not the case. There are dozens of character dining experiences with all sorts of characters. Some of them have not returned since prior to the parks closing to COVID, but we do expect them to come back. In the meantime, there are a few princess breakfasts um, that are still available, but most of the character dining is with Mickey Mouse. There are five places where you can eat a meal with the big cheese himself. Um, the first is Hollywood and Vine. Hollywood and Vine is in Hollywood Studios, and for lunch and dis dinner, it's Minnie's Seasonal Dine. Um, the characters, the costumes, and the menus all change with the season. So they have a fun spring season where they're all dressed in like their Easter bonnets, and they have a Halloween one, and they have a holiday one, and they had a really glamorous one for a while that was part of, um, you know, January, February, like award season, and they all came in their Oscar finery. So it's really fun. Um, it's a American style comfort foods. I'm mentioning it first because it is not my favorite in terms of the food available. The breakfast is decent and that is with Disney Junior characters, but I don't love the lunch and dinner menus. I also don't love the food at Chef Mickey's, but Chef Mickey's is the most popular and usually what people are asking me for when they say the character dining experience. Um, that's at the Contemporary Resort. It does serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's the most popular and well-known, so it's hard to get a reservation for. It's also in the middle of the resort and loud and and really, really um, difficult to enjoy a meal because it's it's loud, the monorails are going through, it's in the middle of the resort. Um, breakfast is standard, so if you're going to do Chef Minkie's, I would recommend breakfast, dinner, not so great, variety of meats, pastas, kavas, carving stations and treats. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto do meet at Chef Mickey's. Garden Grill is actually one of my favorite options. It's in Epcot at the Lands Pavilion. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a rotating restaurant, family style, um, home style pot roast, salads, macaroni and cheese. And then what's really cool is the veggies are grown right on site and you can see the areas where the veggies are grown for, as you're rotating through the restaurant. Um, there it is Chip, Dale, Pluto, and Mickey. So you're not gonna get Minnie and Goofy and Donald, but the food is really good and it's a really cool experience because the restaurant rotates and it's in the land pavilion. Um, so you have a little bit more options in terms of um, where to go after that. One of my favorites though is Tusker House. If you're going to do a Mickey meal, I recommend this one. It's in the Animal Kingdom. It's in Africa, so it works really well with an early morning touring plan. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. They have American and African fare, so it's a little bit different than a standard buffet where they're sh sharing things um, for breakfast. It's frittata, Mickey waffles, pastries, fruit, fruit chutneys, and um, there's Signature is beef babodi, which is an African specialty. It's basically like a meat pie, which is delicious. Um, and for lunch and dinner, you have your pick from things like split roasted chicken, peri-peri salmon, curry chicken with basmati rice, and things like couscous. Um, so you might think African is super exotic, but if you're thinking a little more North Africa, similar to the Mediterranean cuisine with the couscous and the hummus and the tabbouleh, which are all um, available at the Tusker House, and I love the food there. You also get Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy there. So you get to see everyone. It works really well with a touring plan. You don't have to make it out to a resort in order to get there. Are you feeling a little bit overwhelmed by these options? Not really sure which one's going to be the right one for you. I completely understand the overwhelm. That's why I created a guide, Five Easy Steps to a Disney Vacation Without Overwhelm. I'm going to share um, exactly how to get that at the end of the video. But before we get there, we have one more 
breakfast to go, and that is Topolino's Terrace. It is at the Riviera Resort, which is Disney's newest resort. It is on the Skyliner, so if you're staying on its Skyliner Resort, it's easy to get to if you're in the Epcot area. If you're not in the Epcot area, it's a little bit out of the way and a little bit difficult to get you get to. Um, it's breakfast only. Breakfast begins with pastries and bread, but unlike most of the other choices, it's not a buffet. You have your choice of entrees. So you get that kind of pastries and bread for the table, and then you get entrees on top of it. They have this, oh, this delicious quiche gruyere with house-made pancetta, which is so good. Um, the sour cream waffle is amazing. Smoked salmon, two eggs, any style, and more. And there you have Minnie, Mickey, Donald, and Daisy dressed in their Mediterranean <laughs> French Riviera, um, Italian Riviera best. And so they're super, super cute. I loved everything about the experience at Topolino's Terrace. And so that's my favorite right now. Um, if you're not staying in an Epcot area resort, it's harder to get to. So I would recommend Tusker House or both to be honest. Um, and don't forget to get that guide, Five Easy Steps to a Disney Vacation Without Overwhelm. You can get that by clicking the link below. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to take a break from the busy. Let me help you plan a Disney vacation the whole family can enjoy, including you. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.